guys, it's Lutro here again and welcome to another tutorial video for this channel. We all know that the best theme parks around the world do a great job welcoming guests with their impressive architectures, from appealing structures to incredible water features like fountains. Today I'm excited to show you how to build a stylish, modern water fountain for your theme park. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. We're going to start by grabbing a cylinder primitive and reshaping it bigger in order to determine the size of our fountain. We are then going to add another smaller layer on top. We are making it just a little bit taller than the first one. And then add another smaller layer. Now we're going to be shaping the fountain with this cuboid primitive. We're going to resize this cuboid just like I'm doing it here. I'm going to be painting the primitive a grey metal texture. Once we place this cuboid, we are going to enable the item picking tool. We're gonna click on the cuboid while holding shift, and once again holding shift, we're gonna middle click on any of the circles we've made in the center, in order to be able to rotate this around smoothly. Now we're adding a little detail to these metal cuboids, and adding a layer of concrete to make it look better. Then we're gonna place more of these cuboids on the other two smaller layers, just like we did in the first one. After we finish with the cuboids, we're going to start painting the layers with a foil texture, as it is the most accurate texture to simulate water. So far, our water fountain should be looking just like this. At this point, if you have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask me down below in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Next, we're going to begin adding the most important feature to our fountain, which is obviously the water. Grab these water emitters and place them in the very edge of the first layer of our fountain. You're gonna set the emitter power to 75%. Set the snapping to 22.5 and rotate them all around our fountain. Then add another water emitter on the last layer, this time facing upwards. There's actually a huge variety of other water designs you can choose to feature, so feel very free to arrange the emitters as you like. Now I'm going to decorate the surroundings a little bit for the overall looks of it, so that then I can show you how you can enhance the fountain with some color, lighting and sequencing. Alright, so now we're going to hide some spotlights below the benches I've placed, facing to the fountain. These are going to help us illuminate the fountain at night and make it look amazing. You're gonna wanna place a sequencer and a timer somewhere hidden and add all the four spotlights you've placed inside of the sequencer.
Once you finish the lighting sequence, you're gonna add the sequencer to the timer and set it to activate every 8 seconds, which is the length of the sequence. This is how your fountain should be looking in the end. This was all for today's video. Make sure to like the video if you find this tutorial helpful and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video.